Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because we're going to sit back, relax, and we're going to talk about all the new makeup releases and are they actually worth it? So you guys want to see what they are, if I plan on getting it or not, and what my opinions are, well then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, so I know that it's been a hot minute since I've rocked two different eye looks, but I just got done filming an eyeshadow palette review, which I'm so excited about. I can't tell you what it is, but all I can say is stay tuned to this weekend because you guys will see how I did this entire look and all the new jazz about this particular palette. So make sure you guys stay tuned, but it's been a hot minute and this is definitely a sneak peek for you guys. So I'm so excited because I told you guys in my last um, and new makeup video that I want to start doing this more on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis or bi-weekly basis. So here we are. We have so many new makeup releases to talk about. And I just want you guys to know just because I may or may not want to get it, don't let it sway you. If it's something that you guys want to get, you get it. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. It's the beauty of makeup. We're all allowed to have different opinions. And I just love talking about all the new makeup releases and kind of gauging what you guys like and don't like as well. So with that said, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive straight on in. Okay. So the first thing we have is the new spring 2023 wild meadows 25th anniversary collection from chantikai it says support villa Ab abitas Ooh, culture association and their work protecting the biodiversity of romania's carpathian mountains oh gosh they put complicated names i have to say this is such a gorgeous gorgeous collection i was only i've only tried a few things from chantikai and it's only because Teresa. otherwise i would never try this brand only because their price point is so unbelievably high i'm like mm -hmm. my wallet looks at me and, look, and i look at it and I, it looks at me i look at it and both like no no, like we can't, we can't, but it's a gorgeous collection. I love the packaging. I love how they do the designs of the inside products. And I think they're supporting a really beautiful cause. I just wish this brand was a little bit more affordable, but it's not. So it's one of those brands that I could definitely admire from afar, but definitely have to kind of stay away from because it's just going to hurt my bank. And I just, I can't, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Next, we have the new Glow Light Lip and Cheek Watercolor from Tarte. This says it delivers the look of sun kiss, flush in a bottle, silky blendable, Blend, silky blendable silky buildable blendable color melts into the skin for a radiant diffused effect this retails for $32 and I've never really been one that likes lip and cheek colors that kind of work together they tend to never really work on work in my favor having them being like a combo but what I really want to talk about though is that I have been seeing all over TikTok that apparently Tarte is on a massive brand trip right now and they're tripping in Dubai. And they threw, they flew out all these influencers, business class on Emirates, by the way. So they're spending, what some people are saying 21,000 per ticket. Other people are saying it's 5,000. I really don't know. I've never flown to Dubai or on Emirates because it's just expensive. But anyway, they're flying them on really first business class, whatever they're flying them on. Then they're staying like these massive villas. They're getting all these free clothes and makeup and bathing suits. And first off, I just want to say that is freaking awesome. I am so happy these influencers to go to get to go and do that. It reminds me of, like tripping with Tarte when they used to go to Bora Bora in Mexico. And it really kind of brings, brings me back to like the 2000. 17 2018 beauty guru days and they're all going on these brand trips and filming it and whatnot and apparently they are bringing some people that have like 40 to 50 thousand followers i'm like oh i have a chance but at the same time i just want to stop for one second and just be like how how does how does tarte afford this and i'm not saying that tarte doesn't have good products i definitely have some products that i love from tarte but I never really see anyone talk about Tarte. I never see anyone really review Tarte, talk about Tarte. So I'm just kind of wondering, like, how do they afford to spend like a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars per influencer? I'm just genuinely really curious. It's no shade in the brand whatsoever. It's just me kind of wondering how they can afford such a luxurious brand trips for all these influencers when I never really see anyone talk about them. You know what I mean? But I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's a dream of mine to go on on a on a trip anywhere for like a brand trip. Are you kidding me? That'd be so freaking cool. But then like watch me go one day and then be like, that was it, you know what I mean? But I just thought it was so cool. And I just had to talk about that for one second because it's literally all over my For You page on TikTok is this tripping with Tarte to Dubai and every going, how do they afford it? And all that type of stuff. So I just, I just thought it kind of cool to just throw that out there. 
Okay, so next we have the new, um, it's celebrating the new year. This is the year of the rabbit. We have a NARS brushette and then we have an Urban Decay collaboration with Robin Eisenberg. And so that one's going to come with an eyeshadow palette, a setting spray. That's only going to be available in Canada, but I guess it's coming to us soon. And then we just have a brushette from NARS. I'm going to pass on both of these just because um, they don't really like tickle my fancy. I don't get excited when I look at it. So, um... I think it's cool that they're doing this. I love whenever brands celebrate the Lunar New Year, but I don't know, it just, it has to captivate me and these just kind of don't. So that's a pass for me. Next, we have the new Nighttime Realness. This is from Trixie Cosmetics. This is a palette that retails for $30. It's cute, um, but I'm gonna pass. I've never really tried anything from Trixie Cosmetics. Nothing against the brand. It's just one of those brands that it has to like really call out for me, call out to me. And if it doesn't, then I'm just like, uh, because this kind of like reminds me of the Glam Light Icy Blue palette. And it also reminds me of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood palette. Like I can definitely see that in that. I feel like I tongue twisted that with Blue Blood, Blue Blood, Blue Blood. <laughs> I feel like I tongue twisted that, but like I just look at them and I'm just like, oh, they're cute. But I don't know. It's one of those brands that I'd want to like see in person and try out and test before I actually spend the money on it but it's a cute palette <sighs> guys i have been trying to find this next product i can't find it in stores i can't find it online because ulta sold out but it's the new flower beauty low light liquid contour it retails for $14.49 and apparently it's supposed to put the charlotte tilbury contour wand to shame it has more product in it it's supposed to be gorgeous and i was looking all over for it when i was doing my full face of drugstore makeup and I just couldn't seem to find it. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this. I absolutely wanna get this. I really do enjoy my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. It's so expensive for what it is. You get very, very little product in it, but oh my God, do I love it. I love it. So to see that Tarte did one and now Flower Beauty's doing one and Flower Beauty is drugstore and it's Drew Barrymore's brand. I really wanna try it. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Hopefully I can find it. If not, we'll just, Fingers crossed. That's one I definitely want to get. Next, we have the new Spring 2023 Valentine's Day Love Divine Collection from She Glam Official. You guys already know how I feel about this brand. I'm absolutely going to pass on this brand. Um, I'm not a fan <laughs> at all, but I will say, even though I'm not a fan, I'm going to pass. I will say this little highlighter right here. I think the highlighter looks really cute. I love how it's like kind of like 3D with different colors and I do think it's a cute highlighter and I can appreciate the beauty of something but this is definitely a collection and a brand I'm happy to pass on but I did want to point that out to you guys just in case you guys wanted to know that, that they are rolling out the Valentine's Day collection. This is crazy. Why it's... Uh. Okay, so available now and it's only in Asia. Benefit Cosmetics did a collaboration with Disney. Like since when? Since when? They're doing... The same products they already have, but they just have like the Disney villains and Disney princesses on there. I have never seen Benefit Cosmetics ever do a collab with like Disney before and it's in Asia and I think that's so freaking cool. I'm jealous obviously because I'd love to have that. I love Benefit, but I think it's really cool they're doing that like for Asia right now and I just think it's such a cute collection. Oh my gosh, we're lucky. <laughs> Next we have the new Tattoo Brow 36 Hour Brow Gel from Maybelline. Oh, who is wearing makeup that long? That's what I really wanna know. I kinda wanna do a test where I try out this foundation literally for 30 hours. I don't wash my face, but oh God, I know how disgusting that would probably end up being. But like in reality, who is wearing this makeup for that long? I know I'm not. Like I know when I get done filming, I'm washing this off. <laughs> so I can't imagine wearing brow gel for 36 hours, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be for natural full looking brows for up to three days of wear, by the way. And it's only available in Europe right now, but it's fancy is gonna come here at some point, I hope. But I've, I've definitely had some issues with brow gels. You guys have seen me try them to get to do like a feather brow. And I, I just, I, I suck at it apparently, so I don't. So I got, I got people sending this to me in my DMs and I laughed and I, I wasn't sure if they were serious about me wanting to, they wanted me to review it or they were just trying to laugh with me. I'm not sure, but it's the new Makeup Revolution collaboration with Disney. It's the Minnie Mouse collection and I guess it's available on Target. Um, I'm absolutely going to pass. Yes, yes, yes. I did buy a few things from Makeup Revolution for my drugstore video. Absolutely. I'm going to try stuff out. But like, I really, really hate when Makeup Revolution does collabs with any brand out there because they freaking suck. They suck at the collabs. They don't know how to do it properly. And I just want to scream and shake them going, who's on your marketing? Who's on your development team? Let me help you. Like, this just does not scream Minnie Mouse in the slightest. And oh, they just, somebody needs to go in there and just slap them and say, let me show you how it's done. Oh, we have a new makeup update. So I guess Sephora and Glossier 
Glossier are coming together. So I guess Glossier is going to be finally be sold inside Sephora, which I'm really excited about because I've always wanted to try the brand, but I've never had a chance to try it because it's online or in stores like in LA and stuff like that. So I never had a chance to try it. But now that's coming to Sephora, that gets me so excited because like I actually really want to try it. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that one. Ooh, next we're starting out with a bang. Charlotte Tilbury is rolling out with new blushes with a matte finish. So these are going to have like several different shade range in them, like looks like four or three different shade range. They're gonna be matte blushes. They're gonna be just like their contour wand. And I'm really excited for that. Am I gonna buy it? Probably not because I probably wouldn't get the most use out of it because I'm slowly getting the hang of like a contour like wand with bronzer because bronzer, I can put the setting powder and then I can kind of still softly go over bronzer. But then I've seen so many people on TikTok, like literally they'll do their cream bronzer, cream blush, put the powder on and then go back over with a powder bronzer, powder blush. And I, I just, and I'm guilty of it myself. And I don't know why, I only do it because they do it. And I don't get the point. I don't get the point. Why are we doing that? Someone help me. <laughs> Next we have a new collection from REM Beauty. This is curated by Ariana Grande herself. It is called the Thank You Next Collection. And I'm going to safely say thank you, next, thank you, next on this collection because I just find it so boring. I find it absolutely incredibly boring. I actually had a chance to go look at the brand when I was inside Ulta and I was like, I just don't see it. I just, I just doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't excite me. I look at it. I'm just like, eh, like I just don't get excited. So that's a pass. Next we have another, next we have a new Valentine's Day collection. This is from Matt Cosmetics and they're rolling out, I guess, with some new Valentine's Day lipsticks and some special packaging. And there's like over like almost 11,000 likes on this post. And I think it's actually pretty good for Mac. I think Mac is definitely, I don't wanna say making a comeback because I still never see anyone talk about Mac, but like they're obviously thriving because they're still rolling out with so many products. And whenever I go to Disney Springs, I always see people inside Mac. I mean, heck, when I went to Disney Springs like two weeks ago with Teresa, she took me into Mac. <laughs> so like, obviously Mac is slowly making a comeback. At some point I'm gonna wanna like check them out again, maybe buy some things, but I would definitely say like good for them. Like that's like an underdog that I'm like rooting for. So that's awesome. Hey guys, so next we have the Good Vibes collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is a 70s inspired collection. It says it's limited edition. I kind of want it. Now, I know we've had my issue. I know we've had issues with e.l.f. We've talked about it. You guys have heard the stories about how I bought a mystery box. They turned out to send me a, an advent calendar from 2021. And it was a whole debacle with them inside my freaking emails. We were going back and forth. They pretty much told me I should be grateful and I should just love the damn box and pretty much that is what they told me. And they are so nice about it though, but like in not so subtle words, they're pretty much saying it is what it is. Like it is, like it is what it is. We're not gonna do anything for you. And I, you know, went through the whole bank process, get a refund, but I will say I will give this brand everything. They were trying so hard to get like a very amicable like exchange between us. And they actually sent me their newest like Latin, uh, their lip stains in PR. They only sent me three. I didn't get the whole thing, but they were so sweet enough, sweet enough to send me a couple shades. And granted, they're only a couple of blocks. It's not like it's, you know, making up for the box, but they were so sweet. They were trying so hard to make it very nice in the email exchange. And I don't know if it's because they knew I did a YouTube video. I don't know if it's because they know that I'm a content creator and I could talk about them. I don't know. Because they in the emails they referenced my YouTube video how they watched it and they knew I love the red lip they knew I love red lips so they specifically sent me red lips so obviously someone's paying attention to it so I don't know if that's why they're sweet I don't know but I at least will give them the time of day that they took the time to watch my video they took the time to respond to every single email that I had within hours of me sending it I didn't have to wait and I really do appreciate that customer service like it really made me go okay you know what didn't care for your shit, but at the end of the day, you guys had great customer service. Overall, we were able to work it out, and I do really appreciate that. Then I look over at Pat McGrath. They are still ignoring my email. I sent them an email on the 4th. I sent them an email on the 12th. It is now officially the 19th, and they still have yet to get back to me. I'm already going through the process of my bank, trying to fight this and trying to get my $120 back because at this point, I sent the palette out to them. They've had it since the 10th. They refuse to give me a refund. I don't know what to do. I'm out 128, and I don't even have the palette to show up for it, and this brand refuses to acknowledge my emails. I, I sent them DMs. I've commented on their stuff. They ignore me, and I've seen so many other comments saying that they're ignoring them as well. So I'm not the only one. So it just makes me want to go, okay, you know what, Elf, I'll give you another chance. Pat McGrath, I will never give you another chance. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's a really cute collection. I kind of went off tangent there, but I just wanted to take a moment to say like, I think it's a cute collection from Elf. I'll still keep shopping Elf. And I just really appreciate the fact that they had like a really good, like 
customer service team with me. So just wanted to rant and I think this collection is cute. Okay, so moving on, we have another makeup update. So it looks like Dior makeup is coming to Ulta Beauty, which is really exciting because I do love Dior and obviously, Ulta, Ulta has a really great point system compared to Sephora. So that gets me exciting. I don't know when they're coming, but they are coming to Ulta very soon. And that is super freaking exciting. Hey okay, guys, so next we have a new Jeffree Star Cosmetics products. This is their new Wyoming Winter Collection. They're releasing five products targeted for dry skin. Now you guys know that I don't shop Jeffree Star Cosmetics, so I don't even care about this launch. But if I did, I would be so disappointed as a consumer because it's all geared towards dry skin and I'm such an oily ass bitch that this would never work for me and that'd be so disappointing. Like, I understand that during the winter season, or winter season, a lot of people suffer from dry skin. I understand that, but I also don't know what that's like. Give me some. Be my oil. Let's exchange the skin types, guys. It just sucks because like there's so many brands, so many brands out there that cater to dry skin and normal to dry skin. And I feel like oily skin really does get left behind a lot. So um, if you shop the brand and you're excited for it, that's amazing. But if you're oily and you wanted it, I'm so sorry. Next, they have a new, um, next they have a new lip mask from Laneige. It's called the Berries and Cho Choco Kiss Kisses Set. It retails for $32. It's a limited edition. And it's just gonna be a lip mask of a strawberry flavor and chocolate flavor. Y'all, that could be dangerous. That could be very dangerous because someone like me who really does value the taste of makeup that I should not be doing, by the way, don't copy me. Don't, don't do as I say, what was I saying? Do as I say, don't do as I do. Whatever that saying is, don't, just don't lick it, okay? But that's dangerous for me because if it smells like chocolate, tastes like chocolate, I'm screwed. So it's a very cute set. I will not be getting it because I don't want to consume it. <laughs> Yeah, this is so cute. We have a new Year of the Rabbit collection from Estee Lauder. This is absolutely so cute and oh my god, why? It's $175. Who has the money just to drop on a five shade refillable setting powder compact? What the? I just don't, I don't, what? Why? Who is dropping $175 on this? I don't even want to look at it anymore. What the? I got so excited for it to be 175. That is my freaking groceries. Like that's my groceries. That's that's a bill. Like what the? Okay, so next we have a new collab. This is Sigma Beauty collaboration with Anne Nook. So this is going to be a 20 shade eyeshadow palette, different finishes, and I have to say it's a pretty cute palette. It's pretty cute. I actually do like the color scheme. I could definitely see myself playing with that. Am I going to pick it up? Probably not. Um, am I going to pick it up? Probably not, but I do think it's a really cute color scheme. Um, I've only played with Sigma several times and I have to, oh wow, that's a really gorgeous eye look. I'd love to recreate that actually. Um, I have to say I only played with Sigma a couple times and I'm really impressed with how they are. So that is exciting. Good for, good for Anne Nook. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. So next we have the new Floral Engraving Beauty Goddess Palette from, from Floraces Beauty. This is the first sight palette, a love story engraving. It retails for $59 and oh my God. God, the engraving on this is absolutely beautiful. I do have one palette from Floraces. I haven't played with it yet. I was gonna do that in a video with you guys, like kind of first impressions. And I have to say, oh my God, their work is just incredible. It's so freaking gorgeous. I'd wanna play with this, but like at the same time, I feel like I would just wanna stare at it and never ruin the quality of it. But that, my God, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Guys, when I saw this next product, I drooled just a little bit. We have a new lip product. It's red for Valentine's Day. Natasha Denona is launching their I Need a Rouge Lip Style 2. It's $27 with a crayon and like a pencil. And oh my God, this red, if it's not the prettiest red I have ever freaking seen. It is so damn gorgeous. I might actually go pick that up myself because I just can't stop staring at how gorgeous this color is. And you guys know I'm a softie for red lips and I just think it's absolutely incredible. And I like, I wanna get it. I wanna get it. Next, we have another day, another color pop. And it is their new Talk Flirty to Me. That's not even how it goes. Okay, <laughs> so this is a flirty 12 pan eyeshadow palette, five powdered highlighters, four blushes, three lip products, a fourth ray cherry lip balm and scrub duo, and two lips, uh, two Mark face stamps. And I have to say, I actually did buy their Valentine's Day collection years ago with the hearts. I did end up decluttering most of that stuff. 
be yes except for the few small palettes that I do have and like I want to get it I do want to get it because it's ColourPop I love ColourPop and I just it's just colors I don't necessarily really use and I feel like I don't need five highlighters I don't need like all four blushes but at the same time I'd like want to review it for you guys so like I don't know because it launches in one hour by the time you guys see this it's already launched and so many people see so seem so happy about this launch so like I don't know what do you guys think should I get it should I not get it uh, by the time you guys tell me it would be too late but I will say it's really cute it is a really cute collection I'm not gonna lie and it's Valentine's Day theme and it's been so long since they rolled out with their um highlighters and blushes like that and they're really cute and I just I just I don't know but it's launching today it's launching today. It's probably live right now. Go check it out. I'll link it down below. Next, we have a new launch from Nomad Cosmetics. All we have is just a sneak peek right here. It is launching on the 24th at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can use code Allie to save you guys 10% on shopping at Nomad Cosmetics. And all I have to say is just stay tuned. Stay tuned. And uh, it's a very gorgeous palette. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say because I can't say anything else, but just stay tuned. I think you guys would really love this particular palette. So, ah! <laughs> Okay, so next, and I'm so freaking excited about this, but we have a new palette, or actually two new palettes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. We have the Lure palette and the Trill palette. Now they're actually technically launching today, but they're only launching a very few select small batch, but the full launch actually goes live tomorrow the 20th. You guys can find it on blendbunningcosmetics.com. You guys actually can use code Allie, which will save you guys 10% off. But we have the $46 Lore palette. And let me tell you guys, this palette is so freaking beautiful. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It is just speaking volumes. It's like a mermaid's dream. It is so freaking beautiful absolutely beautiful it'll be live tomorrow and they're also launching their trove palette with it which is going to be this beautiful four pan precious multi-dimensional shadows like i'm not kidding when i say that these are absolutely so freaking gorgeous now this palette actually does retail for 68 dollars. it's going to be a little bit on the more pricier side but if you guys use code alley you guys can save 10 percent off of that which i think makes it like um around somewhere like Ooh, $15 per shadow if I'm correct I could be wrong but these are going to be um, very limited because they're so expensive to make they're absolutely super expensive to make I've seen beautiful swatches of it let me actually show you guys some of the swatches look at how gorgeous those swatches are now you guys know that I love multi-chromes so freaking much and these are absolutely to die for I mean you could just really see those shadows right there just like molting and moving and like it kind of reminds me of the Nakia Joy Cosmetics um the, the loose pigments with Nikia Joy Cosmetics, but I think the only difference is that these are already so nice and wet. With Nikia Joy Cosmetics, you kind of have to have a, a mixing medium to get it to look like this. This is already done for you. So it is gonna be more on the pricier side. It's gonna retail for $68, but at the end of the day, it is going to be absolutely worth it. I don't think they're gonna do any bundles together, but I'm so excited. So we have the Lure, the Lore and the Trove palette both launching tomorrow on the 20th. I think they could be launching at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm not exactly sure. They didn't say the exact time frame tomorrow. There's a small batch launching today, but I'm just so freaking excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. Ah! So next we have a new collaboration. This is a long video, I'm sorry. Next we have a new collaboration with Hip Dot. First they're collaborating with um, Corn and Evanescence. Now so far I've only seen the Corn. They haven't really, they've only teased Evanescence. They haven't teased, they only teased, up, teased Evanescence and they released the Corn palette and how that's supposed to look. It does look really cute. I love the fact that it's in a CD. I really can definitely admire that. Now I'm not the biggest Corn fan. I never really like listen to a lot of their music, but I love Evanescence. I grew up listening to Evanescence a lot actually. It's a very gorgeous, gorgeous color scheme. I'm, I might pick it up. I'm not entirely sure. Or I might wait until they release Evanescence so I can like do them both together. But I thought it was actually pretty cool they're doing that. I'll give them their props. I will give them their props, but I hope the Evanescence one comes out soon because that's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so next we have the new L'Oreal Infallible. There, looks like they're revamping their L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. So this is going to be their 24 hour foundation that they're revamping to now be 32 hours and it's going to have 4% niacinamide in it. It's also going to have a SPF 25 and it's going to be full coverage. It has the same shade range as the 20 shades from their OG shade range and it's available in Europe right now, not available in the US, but as soon as it comes, I'm absolutely getting it because I absolutely do love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's my favorite drugstore foundation ever. So I'm so excited. As soon as it gets here, I'll absolutely be testing that out. But like at the end of the day, who needs 32 hours? <laughs> what the heck? It's like Hip Dot heard me. 
They just, what? Are you serious? They just freaking, why? Are you listening? Uh, they just, what? Okay, let's take a look at it really fast since they're obviously listening to my conversation. Um, so it says that they're live. This is like how the palette looks. We don't have it. This is the first sneak peek, guys. Um, that is the Evanescence eyeshadow palette right there. She's cute. I might get it actually. We'll see. I actually might get that. That's actually really cute. <laughs> okay. So last but not least, we do have the new Adept Cosmetics products. Now they actually launched two new products. Well, technically it's supposed to be launching tomorrow, but there's actually a hiccup where it ended up launching yesterday. So I was able to get my hands on it. So the first one is going to be the Adept Cosmetics Mystery Box. It's expensive. It retails for $135, but there's gonna be nine never before seen products inside this mystery box. So once the mystery box is gone, it's gone, but they did say that they're gonna be releasing all the items individually at full price later on this year. So definitely check it out if you guys wanna get it. I think there's gonna be a brand new exclusive palette that's never been released before inside that box. And they also released a brand new palette yesterday as well. So they released their new um, inspired palette. Um, so this is supposed to be inspired by the show Arrow. I actually did pick it up because I think the color scheme is absolutely gorgeous. Just a heads up guys, I used Afterpay to buy all this. And I also used Heather's code. So if you guys wanna save some coin uh, with Adept Cosmetics, Heather Austin actually has a code. It's just code Heather. It will save you guys 10% off, but I bought it on Afterpay. So I got the mystery box and I got the eyeshadow palette. I'm really looking forward to uploading them and playing with them because I really do like Adept cosmetics i've been impressed with three palettes i've tried so far so this brand is definitely intriguing me but oh yeah guys that is all the new makeup releases see what happens when i take forever to renew like to review see what happens when i take forever to talk about makeup products it's been only a week and a half and then we still have so much makeup to talk about but let me know down below what you guys are most excited about what you guys want to pick up or what you guys don't want to pick up let me know i love hearing you guys' thoughts and yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. I said to post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye